Hello my fellow YouTubers, your big fella Tron and welcome back to another reaction video. Today we're reacting to FNAF Animatronics Explain. Yeah, this time is now Circus Baby. Find Nights of Freddy's Facts. So we're all my present and subscribe to Mike. Hit that notification bell. Like this video and comment down below and oh hold on. There. <laughs> let you guys let you guys let you guys see it. Anyway guys I watch I watch Freddy I watch the you know I watched the ones on Freddy Bonnie Chica and Foxy I I reacted I reacted I react I watched the puppet but I had to feel like watching it off camera because I recorded it but I have some audio issue I recorded it but I have audio issues so I'm sorry you can you guys get to see it but we're here we are reacting to Circus Baby and let's let's get started. Hey guys, Superbro Mike here, and Hello. in today's video we continue our exploration of classic Five Nights at Freddy's history with a look at another animatronic from Scott Cawthon's roster of creepy characters. Circus After Baby. looking at the puppet in last week's episode, we yeah. now turn our attention to Circus Baby with a look at her design, place in FNAF lore, the games she has appeared in, and alternate versions over the years. So sit back, relax, and let's take FNAF another FNAF walk FNAF down memory lane. Circus this Baby. is Circus Baby Explained. Let's go. Circus Baby stands at a towering 7.2 feet and is one of the tallest animatronics in the entire series. What? Her appearance is both creepy but also strangely tallest inviting. Tallest animatronic in this well, 7.2 feet and 7 is one of the tallest feet. animatronics in the Dang entire it. series. Her appearance is both creepy, but also strangely inviting. This is referenced by Baby herself, as she said some children loved seeing her, while others were afraid. Children would run in and out. Some were afraid of me. Others enjoyed my songs. As you can tell, she has a gentle mm -hmm. feminine voice, a reassuring kind of voice, which no doubt was designed that way so she could interact with the children visiting the pizzeria and make them feel right at home. She wears a red dress with her body made up from a combination of white and pink plastics. Along her arms are a series of pins, and she holds a microphone in her left hand. In the center of her stomach is an orange plate containing a small fan, presumably to ventilate her endo. Her face resembles that oh, of a cool clown, off. with a small red nose, rosy cheeks, and a big smile. Her eyes are wide and piercing. Like the other Funtime animatronics, Circus Baby's face has the ability to split open, revealing Ooh. the faceplate beneath. However, one important design element we don't see when looking at Circus Baby is her claw. This claw-like device was intended to dispense ice cream cones to the children visiting her pizzeria, and can be seen on her blueprint as well as within the minigame we play in Sister Location. Strangely, yep. it is hidden from view. There may well be a reason for this, and we'll cover that soon. But first, mm. let's take a look at Circus Baby's appearances within the FNAF games. All right. Circus Baby first appeared in the fifth FNAF game, Sister Location. However, she was not a threat to the player here. Mm -hmm. Well, not directly at least. Despite this, she did actually have a jump scare planned at one point, as the animation for this can be seen in the original trailer for that game. However, she would be able to attack us in future games. The first of yep. which was with her appearance within Ultimate Custom Night, where she could be selected as one of the many animatronics to challenge us. Want to see the scooping room? Next yeah. up was her small role in VR game Help Wanted, where she appeared in a mini game called Night Terrors. Finally, we got the chance to face off against Baby in our very own homes, with her inclusion in the AR game Special Delivery. I think that's uh, so. Mike's now place. we've covered the basics of Circus Baby, but what about her origins and the story behind that mysterious claw we mentioned earlier? Well, things are yeah. about to take a very dark turn, so buckle up and hold on tight. Oh shoot! The sinister origins of Circus Baby. 
Circus Baby was the creation of Evil Series mastermind William Afton. He created her within his company Afton Robotics and made her the centerpiece of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza's sister location, Circus Baby's Pizza World. This mystery diner was where Circus Baby took centre stage and was the star of the show. However, this restaurant was closed after just a few weeks, apparently due to claims of gas leaks on the premises. The real story is far less innocent. You see, William Afton had designed Circus Baby as a way to kidnap children. When they ventured too close, the claw would drag them inside Circus Baby's storage tank where they could be held prisoner until after hours, then falling prey to Afton's murderous hands. The problem was that this plan didn't quite work out the way Afton had hoped. You see, he had a daughter Elizabeth. called Elizabeth, and she was infatuated with Circus Baby's design and excited to meet her in person, something her father forbid for obvious reasons. Daddy, why won't you let me play with her? As revealed via Sister she saw, she saw like Peppa mini game, from herself one fateful day, Rita Elizabeth from came into contact with Circus Baby while she was alone, and so the AI did what it was programmed to do oh, yeah. and snatched up Afton's own yep. child. Shortly Rip. after, it is believed Circus Baby ended up in the scooping room of Afton's factory, where her endo was torn out, melding it with the child's body and causing Elizabeth to forever haunt Circus Baby's conscious. So when Baby speaks to us in Sister Location, she is doing so with the thoughts and will of Elizabeth Afton. After this tragic incident, the pizzeria was closed down, with Baby and the other animatronics being moved to an underground factory called Circus Baby's Entertainment and Rental. The gruesome story covered up from public scrutiny. It is here, as the latest employee of this sister location, we find ourselves communicating with Baby as she guides us through each night. Initially, she seems helpful and steers us away from probable death. If you follow his instructions, you will die. However, on night four, Circus Baby reveals her real motive after kidnapping us and stashing our body within that of another animatronic, as she attempts to use Ballora's mini renas to kill us. This fails, oh and gosh. for whatever reason, we return for a fifth night of terror. Here, we finally meet Circus Baby, who has been deactivated, but still manages to talk to us via our hand unit device. She claims to feel remorse for attempting to kill us, and hopes to be able to fix herself. Something bad happened yesterday. Something bad always happens. I don't want it to happen again. There is something bad inside of me. I'm broken. The only wow. way to do this is to use the scooping machine to remove and destroy her corrupted endoskeleton and the haunted AI within. However, this ends up being another of Circus Baby and Elizabeth's tricks. Fed up with being trapped in this factory and mistreated by the owners, the animatronics all wish to escape, and to do this, they have started a sinister plan. They used the scooper to remove their endos, and then merged into one sentient being, Ennard. known as Ennard. Ennard is a jumble of parts from every Funtime animatronic, brought together into one singular being. Dang. Baby leads our hapless character, who happens to be Elizabeth's own brother, Michael Afton, into the scooping room and scoops out his innards. Ennard then crawls inside Michael Afton's skin, and the animatronics finally manage to escape the facility in a morbid disguise. Michael Afton's body later rejects these animatronic parts, and he vomits Michael Afton's body later rejects these animatronic parts, and he vomits them into the sewer. Whoa. So, that's Circus Baby's dark and twisted backstory in a nutshell. But <laughs> what about other variations of this design? Well, let's take a look at some of the other baby-themed characters from the Five Nights at Freddy's games. Hey, bit baby. 
8-Bit Baby is, as the name suggests, the version of Baby we control during the 8-Bit minigames in Sister Location. Yes. While this simplified form of Baby was initially designed to tell the tragic backstory of Elizabeth Afton, more recently 8-Bit Baby appeared in mobile AR game FNAF Special Delivery. Here she had the ability to glitch out our phones, appearing inches before our eyes within our very own living rooms. A creepy sight for sure. Sure. Wow. She even got a choice few voice lines. I can hear you breathing, but not forever. Soon, you will be as broken as I am. Damn. Plush baby. Plush Baby is a plushy version of Circus Baby, although don't let that fool you. Unlike other plushies found within the game FNAF Help Wanted, this particular toy you. has a life of its own. Plush Baby works together with her various clones, some of which feature corrupt and disfigured faces, to hunt the player during certain minigames within Help Wanted. They have high-pitched voices and a mischievous temperament. I guess you forgot about me. In the first level dark rooms, we must shine our flashlight on these plushies as they gradually move towards us. Failing to repel them in this way results in a heart-stopping jump scare. <laughs> the audio for this jump scare is a higher pitched version of the chilling audio we hear when Elizabeth is snatched up by Circus Baby in the Sister Location minigame. Their vocals are also recycled from existing assets, utilising Balloon Boy's laughter track and remixed quotes from Circus and Scrap Baby found within Ultimate Custom Night. The second time we encounter these little blighters is within the Circus Baby Night Terrors level. Here we must hide from Circus Baby in the bedroom closet and right. keep the door closed until she backs off. The problem is, a cluster of these plush babies sits right behind us and will pounce if the door is held shut for longer than they desire. These plush babies also have variants of their own. In the blacklight mode of FNAF Help Wanted, their appearance is based on Circus Scrap. Baby's alternate Scrap form, Baby. Scrap Baby, a character we'll get to in short order. While in the Halloween expansion Curse of Dreadbear, they are known as plushkins and have a creepier <laughs> look with plushkins. red glowing eye sockets. They don the masks of fellow animatronics Freddy and Co from the Trick or Treat minigame. Bitty Bab. Biddy Babs are essentially minions of Circus Baby. However, unlike her, they actually resemble humanoid babies and essentially look like animatronic dolls. This makes them pretty terrifying to encounter. They have big bright eyes, a triangular nose, and rows of square human-like teeth. Their voices are hushed, feminine, and spoken in a British tone. We encounter these spooky babies during the night second two. night of Sister Location, where we must take refuge from them under a desk and prevent them from clawing the door open. In the original teaser for Sister Location, we saw seven Biddy Babs. However, only two of them appeared in the final game, suggesting their gameplay design may have changed during development. These creepy children can also be seen on rare occasions elsewhere within Sister Location, peering in through the elevator window and staring up at the player in their own living room during the TV show segments of the game. They also have a neon lit variant known as Electro Bab. This animatronic features an illuminous look as her eyes glow and flicker like a malfunctioning light bulb. Electrobab features during Sister Location's custom oh, night nice. and is certainly an unnerving sight to encounter. Egg baby. Next up, we have one of the strangest of all Scott Cawthon's animatronic designs, an egg-shaped scanning device known as, well, Egg Baby. <laughs> this kind of makes sense when you consider he shares elements of Circus Baby's appearance and that of aforementioned egg, or perhaps <laughs> a potato. It <laughs> also looks a little like Balloon Boy 2. Egg Baby first showed up a combination of Circus Baby, Balloon Boy, and where he Potato. Could be purchased from the Rare oh, well. Auctions catalog. He was Dang, also used as a background is. prop during Ultimate Custom Night. He is non lethal and was used to scan blueprints of both Fazbear Entertainment and Afton Robotics, as hinted at during the insanity ending of FNAF 6. 
His alternate name, Data Archive, seems to confirm this. Ooh. Scrap baby! Last, but not least, is perhaps the second most known form Baby takes during the Five Nights at Freddy's series, Scrap Baby. This horrifying looking animatronic was one of the central antagonists hunting us down as we attempted to complete our night shift in FNAF Pizzeria Simulator. Her design is more slender and gothic in appearance than that of Circus Baby. While her hair is similar, it looks far more realistic, now made from a mess of wires and cables. A metallic bow is fitted atop her head. Her Ooh. eyes are missing, revealing the sockets beneath, and her teeth are sharp like the nightmare versions of other animatronics found in FNAF 4. Her body deteriorates and reveals large sections of her withered endoskeleton beneath. Scrap Baby's right arm ends in a giant scissor-like claw, which looks like it could easily sever a head completely. In fact, her entire body is cobbled together from scraps, her feet replaced by a pair of thrown away roller skates. During the completionist ending of FNAF 6, we hear Henry refer to Scrap Baby as Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. I will make you proud, Daddy. Watch. Listen. And be full. Connection terminated. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Elizabeth. If you still even remember that name. But I'm afraid you've been misinformed. So this tells us that the soul of Elizabeth Afton, which it's had originally inhabited baby. Circus Baby before merging with Ennard to escape the facility inside her brother's body, eventually ended up in this scrap version of Baby. Meaning after being ejected from Ennard, Elizabeth's soul was drawn back to Baby, an animatronic she idolised as a child as her father first created it for her. Daddy just once let me go play with her. She's so pretty and shiny. Didn't you make her just for me? It seems indeed wow. Scrap Baby continued to harbour the tormented soul of Elizabeth Afton until they were both finally laid to rest during the closing moments of the sixth game. But with that said, I feel we have wow. covered the basic overview of this character and her story, as well as looking at some similar animatronics from across the series. So it seems like the perfect time to wrap up today's video. I hope you did enjoy it, and if you did, remember to comment down below, leave a like, and of course subscribe for more horror related content. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Wow, Mike, that was a really, that was a pretty good job. It. I think that's all the interesting characters. That's Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, uh, the puppet, the marionette, and Circus Baby. So I wonder who's next. Well, but we'll find out. Probably, probably, probably good trap. I don't know. Anyway, guys, that's my reaction to FNF Animatronics Explain Circus Baby. Everything in the Twitch below, along with along with Mike's channel, you guys check him out and all the. And I'm trying to explain the, the original characters being as well. Make sure you guys subscribe to me for more future content, and later.